Named one of National Geographic Traveler's 50 Tours of a Lifetime, trekking for kids' expedition to Everest Base Camp in 2010 gave adventure seekers the chance to walk in the footsteps of the world's foremost mountaineers while helping at-risk and orphaned children living in the shadows of this iconic mountain range. After getting our bearings in the Nepalese capital of Kathmandu, a kaleidoscope of noise, chaos, and color, we journeyed to the ancient walled city of Bhaktapur and the nearby Orphan Children Rescue Center, where TFK had committed to building a new floor onto the existing home. Thanks to the generosity of our donors, the children have an entire new floor with three new bedrooms, a storage room, a study room, three new bathrooms, and a spacious common area. This addition has also allowed boys and girls to have rooms on separate floors and provides enough space to take in more children. Trekkers presented the children with gifts including backpacks, school supplies, clothing, shoes and toys. The excitement, it was palpable. You could see it in their eyes even from a distance. Seeing them be as excited to see us as we were to see them, it, you know, it warmed your heart. Having surpassed our fundraising goals, we were able to provide other improvements to the facility, including repairs of the outside walls, new carpets, and a luxury not many enjoy in this part of the world, a power inverter, so the children can study even with the frequent power outages during the long winter months. Most of the construction work had been completed in advance by local labor hired by TFK. Our task were to put the finishing touches on the new space. However, before work came play. We took our new friends on a field trip to a nearby nature park where we enjoyed fresh air, open space to play, good food, music, and dancing. It was a special treat for the children to leave the city and their daily routines and run freely, eat to their heart's content, play, and just be kids. For the next 13 days, trekkers covered 75 miles of majestic terrain through small villages, alongside rice fields, and over suspension bridges spanning deep chasms of the glacial melt Inja River. We spent a day in the famous mountain village of Namche Bazaar and celebrated a Buddhist festival at Tamboche Monastery. All the while trekking along the Himalayan giants of Ama de Blanc, Nupse, and Lhotse and of course, Mount Everest. Reaching Everest Base Camp was an exhilarating moment for all, but the more difficult climb to the summit of Kala Patar at 18,513 feet provided a sweeping view of what we came to see, Mount Everest. As the sun set, beating the world's highest peak in a stunning alpine glow, we experienced the thrill of accomplishment, as well as a deep satisfaction, knowing we were also there to change the lives of some very special children. A post-trek work day at the orphanage, followed by a party with our new young friends at the OCRC, was the culmination of an unforgettable adventure that truly did change lives, including our own. I thought the spiritual experience would be on the way up, but it was on the way down, and it's here being with the children for a second time. The kids, even in their circumstance, are some of the happiest kids I've ever experienced. We've received such good vibrations back from the kids. I, I, you know, it's been nothing but rewarding. It was really great to actually see where our money was going and see progress. It's sometimes you donate and it goes in a black hole, but here we got to see a building and we saw the work in progress and we actually saw people working. I thought it was about us giving to them and they were so generous and kind and gave so much to us.
Their smiling faces confirmed why we had logged over 20,000 air miles, trekked 13 days over 75 miles on foot, and made so many personal sacrifices to offer these children a future filled with hope, one step at a time. Happy birthday!